Wow, I'm speechless. <laughs> what a wonderful gesture on part of this event to bring the people I love into to this setting. This is a, an amazing honor, and I want to thank the Academy and Accenture and to others who've made this possible. The judges, is it, is it going? Uh, for this amazing honor, and it's, it's an honor to actually join those who have already received this award in the past. And for that matter, all of the award winners today and for the past four years. What a wonderful event this is to recognize these great contributions that are being made. I have to accept this award, however, uh, on behalf of all the cells of my body. And those cells include my beautiful wife and companion, uh, Linda, and my parents, my children, and my grandchildren, and those of my colleagues and mentors and students over all these years that I've worked with. You've seen a few of them uh, already. But you know, one of the things that, um, it, with, it's sort of with mixed emotions uh, to receive this award because this is, this is a Lifetime Achievement Award and, and uh, I'm not dead yet. And uh, I keep thinking, gosh, maybe I am toward the end of my life and I need to start thinking about those kind of things. But I'm reminded of the Toby Keith song, which I love a lot. It's, don't let the old man in. And there's a line in that song that says, how would you be if you didn't know the day you were born? And I thought about that a lot. If I didn't know the day I was born, how old do I think I would be? And I come up with 18 <laughs> because I think I'm, I'm still a kid. I'm still excited about what lies ahead. And especially to be able to work with amazing people like you because this is sort of a dream come true. It's sort of like the ecstasy on top of the agony that I've had over the last 55 years of birthing this technology we're using today. So, I really want to express my deep appreciation for this, but also with the request that you keep me involved, let me continue to have fun with you. And remind you of another thing that I'm trying to do right now. I started a few years ago an organization called the Virtual World Society. Go look it up. In this society, we're trying to unlock intelligence and link minds and hearts globally to lift humanity. So it has to do with the, the humanitarian uses of the technology. And one of the projects we're just getting started that we'd love for you to be participate in is what we call HomeSpark. And the idea of HomeSpark is actually to build centers of learning in homes all over the world. And we're starting off with a, a pilot of 100 families globally who will provide this, we will provide this technology to them along with mentors teach them how to build virtual worlds. I let them experience the virtual worlds, many of which you've already created. And in the end, combine those families together, link them together, and give them problems to work on together that help solve these pervasive problems we have in our world. So thank you again for all of this. Um, I will cherish this day forever and uh, want to wish all of you well that uh, we continue to look ahead of the emergence of what happens. So Godspeed and thank you for all that you do. Thank you. <laughs>